Hi, I'm Isaac Orr, and I research the intersection of public policy, geology, and economics for the Heartland Institute. Fracking is the common name for horizontal hydraulic fracturing. It's a form of drilling for oil and natural gas that has rapidly expanded in recent years. When a fracking well is under construction or at a sand mining site, a lot of noise and dust can be generated. There's no getting around the fact that economic activity isn't always convenient. People living next to fracking sites and frac sand mines have legitimate concerns. Heavy truck traffic can damage public roadways, and local residents shouldn't have to foot the bill for the damages caused by these industries. Local government officials and businesses work out road upkeep and maintenance agreements that ensure any damage done to the road by truck traffic is paid for the company that did the damage. In Pennsylvania, natural gas drillers pay an impact fee for every well drilled to pay for road damages and other government services that are impacted by hydraulic fracturing. This fee has raised over $854 million for the state of Pennsylvania, and the amounts raised change annually based on the number of wells drilled and the price of natural gas. In Colorado, the governor established a task force designed to facilitate greater levels of cooperation and communication between local communities and the oil and natural gas industry. Concerns about light and noise are a little trickier. Fracking sites are industrial operations and they require large numbers of trucks to haul water and sand to the well while under construction. Lights can be directed downward to limit exposure to neighboring properties, and some sand mines have constructed earthen berms to reduce noise and light pollution. We all want low gas prices, but we don't necessarily want to live next to a frac sand mine because of the noise and truck traffic. The same thing applies to people who want renewable energy, but then don't want to live next to wind turbines. Drilling and fracking a well is a relatively short process, usually taking two to four weeks. Once the well has been completed, many of the nuisances go away, but the economic impact of royalty payments to landowners continues to stimulate local economies long after the drilling rigs have left. We rely on a tremendous amount of energy for almost every facet of our lives, and that energy has to come from somewhere. We may like ice cream, but we may not like the smell of the dairy farm that produces the milk. But the farmer who owns the farm has the right to use his property as he sees fit. The same applies to mining or oil and natural gas operations. We all want to live in a technologically advanced society with iPads, computers, and state-of-the-art hospitals. All of these things require raw materials that have to come from somewhere which is important to remember the next time we think that we don't want an industry in our own backyard. This is Isaac Orr for the Heartland Institute.